Hey everyone, let's do an unboxing for today. I like myself some Neptunia, so we'll be looking at the limited edition of uh, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 for the PS4. I would have posted this video sooner, but my package was busy being molested by customs. A review of the game will be coming soon, by the way. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Here's the box. Looks very nice to me. The PS4 skin and the seafood are packaged uh, separately, though. Okay, before we look at the box, let's talk about this Umio fish thingy. It looks like Idea Factory is trying to make Umio, its mascot or something, kind of like Nisa has prinnies. But Idea Factory already has Ify, so it doesn't really make sense to me. Not only that, Umio was plastered all over their Twitter way before the game even came out. I don't even know what this thing is, and neither do most other people, unless they've played this specific game. How is he going to work as a mascot when people don't even know what this thing is? Also, just looking at him reminds me of the Seaman game from Dreamcast, which is creepy. If he's way cuter. Anyway, uh, now that my personal opinions are out of the way, let's take a subjective look at the rest of the LE goodness. The LE box comes in a sleeve, which is very orange. A departure from the usual blacks and purples. Look, it's embossed. I always like little details like this. It's like I'm touching them. The actual box shows Neptune in her new next form. Thanks for that, by the way. How does damage like this even happen? Lifting the cover reveals the goods inside. Here's the game itself. The logo is in a different spot now. I like how they haven't completely covered Neptune's ass, because you know, fan service. Here's the poster. The soundtrack is in a jewel case. And the art book. This image of Neptune in her next form is used a lot, but weirdly, the logo is in a different position every time. As if it's making a journey from the top to the bottom of the image. Let's take a look at each item individually now. The game looks like normal versions you buy off the store shelf. The back actually doesn't look too bad. Not having French on it certainly helps. On the inside we have the disc and manual. The manual is not the most comprehensive thing ever, but at least it's there and in color. Removing the disc and manual reveals the reversible cover art. While the illustrations are really nice, uh, the borders aren't really doing it for me. Looks a bit off once it's wrapped around the case. I prefer to keep it the way it is and just let the art act as a background for the inside. Also, it looks like Neptune and Uzume don't believe in pants, or in pants that work in a traditional sense. Not that I'm complaining. The poster isn't very large, but it's nice that it doesn't dominate the whole wall for a change. The soundtrack is pretty cool. It's orange, like the sleeve. I really like the looks of it, and it works because orange is a complementary color to blue anyways. It comes in a jewel case that's damaged, and includes two discs. They're really hard to get out though. They were bending quite a bit, so be careful. There's a booklet with lyrics if you want to sing along, or just read them. The art book is 52 pages long and hardcover. Included our sketches, character descriptions, and concept art. Overall, very good. Always interesting to look through this stuff. I'm glad that there's a lot of new art for this game. Lately, many of the Neptunia games felt like they were recycling a lot of stuff, so it's good to see some new illustrations for a change. If you like staring at Neptune's ass, you can go ahead and stick it on your PS4. As much as I'd like to, I prefer to keep my consoles how they are though, so I didn't bother putting it on. Looks to be of reasonable quality. And I like the little chibi characters, I think they're cute. Overall I'm quite pleased with everything that comes with it, except for the fish. I recommend picking it up if you're a Deptunia fan, if you can find it for a cheap price that is. 
since it's sold out from the Idea Factory store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video, which will be a review of this game.